Hello, I'm going to be reviewing Ryan's blog. He has set up a WordPress site and he's uh, got the basics going here, but I'm going to give you some insight and look at some examples on how we can improve. So starting over here on the right side, this whole area, it just totally looks unfinished and uh, the the text is basically illegible. It's, it's very hard to read and you're not sure what these input values really are at all and the and the button you know it's obviously you can't see uh, this is in Firefox but you know it's probably like this in all browsers this definitely just looks unfinished and you're really not sure what is going on and all you can you can type in here and you, you can actually click on it but you're not sure and, and it goes to a totally different style page but obviously you got some work to do there and I think you that's pretty obvious uh, moving down the page this whole area probably should consider putting these in text links and it'll probably be better for your search engine optimization related stuff. Uh, Blog Mentor is good, uh, you know, social credibility stuff, but when you click on it, it basically goes to nothing. Uh, so, you, you know, you got some some problems there. But the, the, the problem that you have is, is, is a lot, is a problem that majority of bloggers have when they first get started. People, you have to think about what people think about when they arrive at your site. Who is Ryan and why do I care? This whole area is probably the most important in your case. So I would definitely recommend figuring out what your real unique value proposition is and then calling that out a lot bigger. Your tagline, discover your personal brand, unlock your career. I think it's definitely close, but it could be a little bit more specific. As you scroll down the page and you and your actual content, this picture it doesn't relate to Career Bootstrapper at all. You know, it, it looks like you have a video game um, site or something like that, and I'm sure the content is really good. But this picture is so big and and it's pushing, you know, everything down the page uh, to to force you to read all this text, and there's nothing really relevant here of why I arrived here and what should I do. As far as your social media icons, these are pretty obvious, but I'll definitely recommend putting some type of call to action on there that says, you know, follow me, connect with me, Ryan's awesome, and you should definitely reach out and connect with me. As we click into an individual blog post, uh, it, it basically looks exactly like the homepage. And I think that's always a problem with blogs is that the blog posts and the homepages are confusing. So if you're not you know, directly targeting, you know, techie people or people who understand blogs, I think you're going to lose people. And as you screw, scroll down the page, I think, you know, this whole area, you know, it, am I sure what you, what you do? I mean, you know, what is a career bootstrapper? You know, that, I don't like how the, 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 the sections really get broken up. You're breaking up with this Tomb Raider, and you, you know I have to really read it to really understand it. And you know, majority of people will just skim it across at first. They'll, they'll look at a blog post and they'll skim across the whole entire page. And if they don't see anything that's kind of relevant, they kind of leave. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at some examples of other people's sites and then it'll give you a better idea. And I think there'll be a consistency across all of these because they're all basically personal brands that are doing blogging. In this case, Jim's marketing blog, his unique value proposition is called out right here and he's really introducing himself. The, the main thing he wants to get people to do is to fill out this, this form and sign up. So, you know, it, the, the, the visual hierarchy of the page is correct and it's similar to yours because you have a white background as well. So this is a great example. You know, he's calling out the links very obvious on yours. Your links are, um, I'll go back to the homepage here. Your links are really hard to see. This blue compared to the, 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 the black and it's, it's just really hard to see compared to how he's calling out his links in there and that type of thing. But this right area, this whole area right here is the most important in his case. He has the, 
the introduce in the blog, his unique value proposition, and then his call to action, and then he's reinforcing it with, with himself and his picture. And then telling people to connect with him, Google+, Twitter, RSS, obviously, and then having his Facebook page. But you also see how he's breaking up the page with his bullets and his spacing. That's really nice because I can literally skim across this and read it without necessarily reading every single piece of text. You don't want to force everybody to read all of your text. So as I sc scroll down here, down the page, I'm able to read, for example, bullet, bullet, your clients deserve the best work solution right into another blog post. And you'll see that consistently across some other examples I'll show you. Take a look at Michael Hyatt. He is using his picture that you look, usually look at first with a large um, uh, logo. And his value proposition is that he's helping leaders leverage influence. And that scrolls right into this social proof and this credibility he's creating by putting these logos on there and then reinforcing it with get your free book. This picture is directly related to that call to action and then getting people to uh, fill out that form. And then within each of these form fields, he's showing enter your first name, enter your email address, get updates. So, uh, uh, you know, so you may not want to necessarily get people to actually you know, download this book or do what all these other people are doing but you do want them to you know, collect that lead and uh, give people in something in return, something of value so they can return back to your site. So you're really creating a relationship with them. Here's another example of how Brian's doing it. His focal point is his picture and that leads your eye directly down into his call to action. Sign up for free uh, for email updates. So getting people on his list so he can send him his valuable content. And you know his his uh, blog content is then also broken up into these nice little sections of headline, picture, quote, and it's really broken up by these nice pictures that are kind of valuable to what he's talking about. You know, clear. He's using blue and black, but he's underlining, so it's clear that you can actually click on those things. And, you know, also using these nice break, bro broken open text and, and, and nice spacing as well. Another example is uh, how Navid's doing it. He's breaking out his, his, um, his name and his, and his uh, logo in, the, in this section. And then your eye instantly goes over to this, this block that uses the white text on the black background and getting people to enter the email address. And the, the button is clear sign up he should actually probably say sign up free or or have some type of better call to action up there because um, you don't want to make people feel like you're going to scam them or anything or, or sell them anything so you want to make if it's free tell them it's free give them something in return also he has a nice lifestyle picture up there he's obviously talking about lifestyle so you know if um you know in this case you know as you scroll down you know this picture is obviously related to 15 blog uh, business uh, podcasts. So it's clear of what he's really trying to accomplish and then calling out each of his elements on what you wanted to do. He wants to get you to sign up for his uh, Facebook page and, and that type of thing. And the last example that I'll take a look at is Chris Brogan. We'll take a look at his homepage. He's doing a great job. He obviously has, um, you know, pretty skilled and in uh, having his custom blog design, but he's teasing his content just like you are as well, and then giving this him this nice people this nice big button so they can click to read more. And as you click to read more, you know, you know, he's clearly calling out his title and then driving your eye down to you know Chris Chris Brogan. Okay, who is this guy? Obviously, you can click to learn more, and that leads you right into your lead generation form. So in your case, I think, uh, you know, you're off to a very good start, but if you can take a look at those examples then you can, you know, take a look at what they're doing and you can do the same thing. And, um, you know, the value of your content is definitely the most important, but putting some of these best practices in place, I think could be the right direction for you. Thank you, Ryan. I hope you, uh, find this a value and let me know if you have questions. Talk to you later.